Normally when you open it, it will come into modeling. I first want to cover file. So here you've got a load, save and export. I'm going to concentrate on the export. And these are the different file types you can choose. So normally you would suggest you'd use the STL. So click on STL. Check where you're going to save the file. You choose the file and give it the name. So test one. I'm happy it's going to put it in this position. Click save. And that will then save your STL for you to use. Next, we'll go to the modeling tab. And here, there's about six things I would use. You can use the gender, so female, male, age, older, younger, muscle, less muscle or more muscle, weight, less weight, height, smaller, and proportions. So they're the six items you would mess with within this screen. The next tab along is gender. And here you can alter the body shape. So I will leave you to experiment with this. Obviously, you've got two items here you can choose as well. The next tab is face. Again, this is a handy one if you want to alter the age. Add, make it fatter. There's angles, there's a number of things you can mess with. Again, you need to experiment. And then obviously, you've got a lot more here you can mess with. So there's a lot of settings you can change within this. We then move along to torso. This one, there's quite a few things again that you can alter that are worth doing. Uh, I will let you decide what you want to do. But again, remember, you've got another five options here. So you can alter the torso, hips, stomach, buttocks and pelvis. The final tab is the arms and legs. Now early on we advised changing the fingers to close them together and shorten them and make them fatter. But what you've got to remember when you work with these, you've got the right hand, left hand. You can alter the feet, the shoulders, legs and arms. There's so many things you can alter. Think about it when you want to 3D print these things what your limitation of your printer is. So the random custom I've never used yet in Make Human, so I'm not going to cover them. The next thing I want to cover is the measure tab. And here you've got a number of options and you can resize certain body parts using the slide on the left. This can be handy. And the other thing I like, it gives you these stats for the, the model. So in this case, this figure would be one, seven three centimeters tall this comes in handy when you want to start scaling it to the different scales for your layout so moving along we go to geometries now again here you've got a number of tabs that you can use so the first one is close now depending what clothes you get when you first import make human you'll have limited items you will need to go to the community and download a lot of different clothes to save you a lot of work. So to add the clothes, all you'll do is decide on what you want to put on the person. And that way you can then dress them, add in different things. And I say, think about the clothes that you're using. Don't look at the colors, but just look at the shapes. Next, we have eyes. To be fair, I've never used that, so I won't cover that. Hair, again, you're going to need to download lots more hairstyles because it comes in with very few. Again, be careful on what you choose because some of them will cause you problems when you want to 3D print them. So the next one is teeth. I don't tend to put teeth in. You have got topology, again, You've got limited poses or items that you can add to it. Eyebrows, I don't use. Eyelashes, I don't use. And tongue, I don't use. So that's all the geometries covered. So the next tab is material. And again, I do not use this because it's something that's not going to really show up in 3D printing. So the next tab is Pose Stroke Animate. 
and this is where you see your rigs. You've got five items you can choose from non, CMU, default, default notaries and game engine. Now I tend to use the game engine myself because it gives me access to the fingers and it also gives me limited access for the toes if I want to bend them feet. If you're not planning to use Blender to change the pose, you do not need to use a rig. The next tab in this section is Pose. Now this one, if you're going to use Just Make Humans Create Your STLs, this is where you have a number of poses. Now again, it comes in with limited poses. You need to go to the Community tab and download a lot more poses. But you can see we've got different poses, you can put them in which will help you create your own models. The next tab is expressions. And again, you can change the face expression. This is possibly worth doing if you're doing O gauge or bigger. In double O or N, you're not really gonna see the expressions. So next we've got rendering. And again, I don't use rendering. You've got a settings tab. This you can change your languages. Don't really need to do it. Utilities, not going to use that. Help does give you access to the website, Facebook pages, and about the licenses. There's a wiki page, Patreons, and then we have the community tab. So in the community tab, we are now on the download assets. So here in this drop down, you can pick clothes, loads of different things, material. Models might be handy to you, rigs, expressions. So you need to go through this. You can choose by assets and other things. But say if we looked at hair, you need to then go to update list. And here you can see the different hair styles that are available. But as I said, look through them. Think about it, how you're going to be able to print these things. The next tab is the important one we need to be aware of. You need to make sure if you're going to use blend with make human this is crossed accept connections and that's basically make human for you so here I've got a figure I've closed it and I've added a rig so I can alter it in blend if I wish but I'm just going to export it as an STL so basically where do I want to export it to and I want to call this one Man Sitting Posed. Click on Save. And now that should be in its location that I've just saved it. The next video will take you through bringing it into Chitterbox. Mm -hmm.